ribbon chip kebab. I don't think there's anything more exotic. Ribbon chip. Oh, yum. Don't mind my Pokemon shirt. I'm a Pikachu. Ask. <laughs> Ask Philip. Okay, now the ribs. Chips on the bottom. Just enough for the kebab. Not too much. So that's enough chips. Ribs on top. We only need one set. Now again, I've got pork ribs. But beef ribs are perfectly fine, or any other ribs. Thin slices. Note that I'm not putting cheese on it, it would ruin it because you've already got chips and ribs. It would make it too, not runny, but mushy with the melted cheese. So that's enough red onion. And that can start cooking. I'll have it on 190. Half slices and also very thin. Note that I'm not marinating this because it will ruin the taste. With other kebabs, yes, but not this. And when I mean marinade, I mean soak the onions and lettuce and tomatoes in a vinegary, peppery, oily solution. Half the tomato, a lot of tomato, and onion, and So I slice them from the half. 
lettuce. Very simple. Just a chiffonade. So I only need one of these. You just roll it, and then fine. And it's a shift for me. Shift or no? However, the French say it. Now the lemon leaf fruit. Uh, <laughs> can use lemon leaf bread, but Turkish bread I love the most. Nothing wrong with lemon leaf bread. I just love the fluffiness of the Turkish bread, especially when you fry it on the pan and you get a crunchy coat and that fluffy inside. I like to use farelli in everything. The hot sauce. It's a fucking beautiful hot sauce. It's so tasty. It's like tomato sauce for me, but I love it.
brakes done. Now this is going to come as a shock to you, but I'm going to serve it the other way around. That is going to be the lid at uh, the bottom. It's a little bit, it's perfectly browned. So you're putting this on a flat surface pretty much. Onions first. Remember there is no cheese going on. Now this goes high to 240 degrees. This is the tomato. Sorry, I'm listening to exhibit his album. I'm not distracted, but I'm listening to it. Garlic, uh, just a little bit. Don't smother it with garlic. It's not supposed to be a garlicky kebab. Just a hint with the ribs, because there is barbecue sauce on the ribs. That's good sauce. Highly reliable. Pill, 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 whatever it is. Oh, it's so good. Chips and ribs look almost done. Like them in here. Actually, no, I'm not. chips like crunchy yeah they're good yep mm. don't salt them you've got salt in the sauce and the garlic did You just want the hint of the crunchy chips. So the chips first. It's like a brick lane. You're putting chips on the garlic and the garlic's your mud. I don't know if anybody's ever done brick lane before. I did for several months. There you go. So it's, yeah, it's in the mud.
Yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. So the ribs go on top of the chips. Perfect, absolutely perfect. The sauce is perfect, everything perfect. Done. So the lettuce went on top of the ribs, and obviously you saw the sauce on. Mm. So yes, you are looking at the you aren't looking at something that's not meant to be the way it is. Upside down. You get better grip. It's a unique crunch. Let's test it. Just remember, I'm Maltese Australian, as in that's my ancestry. So my ancestors come from the nation of bread and bread making. There's nothing you can't do with bread. So, you, oh, look at that grip. The best grip you'll ever have. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god 11 out of 10 12 out of 10 mm. 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 what the fuck mm. Mm. After a good chicken or lamb shish, this is the best kebab I've had in my life. And that's a massive statement. But I've been paying attention to how kebabs are made since I was like a nine-year-old. Mm. A truly Australian kebab, but you can never, ever, ever separate where food originated from it's middle eastern but it's also a truly australian kebab ribbon chip ribbon chip kebab oh wow <laughs> oh my god oh my god and these are uh, healthy ribs mind you 40 grams of protein per 20 grams of fat. These are the lean ribs. I chose pork, but you can do the same with beef. You'll get the exact same effect. Different taste in the meat, but it doesn't matter. Same effect. Scrumptious. It may even taste nicer as beef. Mm. So that's that's the that's the uh, center of it. Upside down. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. 
if you make it exactly as I did, you'd agree that you can sell these at a restaurant for 30 bucks each. That's how good this kebab is. <laughs> I don't big talk food. I am very honest with food. That's the most, it's like the most, well, I'm, I don't want to make myself sound like I'm a fucking truth teller of, or truth tellers, but I generally say things as they are. I only fuck around with fuckwits. But when it comes to food, I will tell you if it's two out of ten. This is the best kebab I've ever had. What the flying fuck? Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Cook it, go. Ah, that's dynamite. Everything going on. Fucking hell. Oh my god. I've never had anything like it.